Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome here. Uh, my name is Mark Frost. I'm the principal at Innovation Central High School. Uh, couldn't be more, uh, more than happy to have you here uh, today. Uh, the students behind me are from the Academy of Design and Construction. It's one of the centers of innovation at uh, Innovation Central High School, and we couldn't, uh, couldn't be more thrilled to have them in our building this year. It's a tremendous program where students from ninth grade, 10th grade, all the way through 12th grade learn how not only to design houses, but how to build them, and not just learn, but to apply that learning in this type of setting uh, with hands-on experience in this Habitat for Humanity house. So it's a, it's a, a tremendous, uh, uh, I don't say tremendous. Yeah, thanks. It's a tremendous opportunity for for the students here, uh, for the teachers, uh, for our school, but uh, also to, for us to partner with uh, Wolverine Worldwide. And so, at this point, I'd like to turn it over to our director of innovative strategies, Mr. Gideon Sanders. Thanks, Mark. I appreciate that. I made two versions of the speech. The first one was the DC version for 15 degrees and warmer, and the second is the Grand Rapids version, 15 degrees and less, and thankfully it's 14 degrees, so I'll go with the, sh the shorter version. Um, I'd like to welcome you to this groundbreaking day. We're so pleased to have a chance to recognize another partner joining the GRPS Innovation Central family. Before we begin with the, re uh, before we begin with the reason that we're here, I want to recognize other key players who have gotten us to this point. Uh, Ron Gorman from GRPS is the executive director for high schools and alternative education. Um, we also have the ADC teachers, Andrew Abissi, uh, Melissa Gorman, uh, Dagberto Alvarado, Mr. Belden, and Misty Stallworth. And Misty's been integral in making sure that the transfer from Union High School to Innovation Central has gone smoothly and productively, and we've been able to maintain a lot of the relationships because of her hard work, so thank you. Um, also, we have some members from the Habitat for Humanity uh, Kent County office. Um, we have Connie O'Toole, who's director of construction. We also have Ivor Thomas, who's the director for community uh, development. So thank you for showing up, and thank you again for giving this opportunity to our students as they continue to do great work in this area and give back to the community. Also, I'd like to introduce Carrie Hill, who's the senior footwear designer for Wolverine, as well as Jill Silver Silverman, who is from Wolverine Worldwide Foundation. Thank you for coming. Uh, it was in October, just a few months ago, that we gathered around the table at Davenport University to initiate the first meeting of the advisory board of the new College of Urban Education. They will be debuting their first cohort come this summer, and uh, what makes this program unique is that they will be doing actually a clinical practice where the teachers will be in the, in the school that they'll be serving. They'll be actually working at Innovation Central the whole time that they're doing their masters. Carrie Hill, the senior footwear designer for Wolverine Brand, introduced herself, and I couldn't happen but to admire her shoes. Thinking that it was a pair, my wife would, would admire too. It was a nugget to be mined later. When the Michigan winter arrived in its full glory, uh, I noticed our Academy of Design and Construction students heading to the Habitat for Humanity house uh, and their work site where they were in the process of building this house for a family in need. And some were dressed in baseball caps, if they had a hat at all. Some had jackets borrowed from ADC, who had donated jackets three years ago, but most were dressed in sweatshirts. Most wore tennis shoes, and even in my novice intellect about the construction industry, I knew that that could not be uh, safe. So with the temperatures continuing to drop, 30s, 20s, 10s, not only did I start to pull on the heavier gear, but I watched as our students trudged out there every day. Thing is, they didn't trudge. They went merrily from their warm building to their warm bus to their cold work site without a complaint and knowing that what they were doing was setting them on the right track. We encourage our students to don a tie for an interview. We encourage our students to get dressed up when they go to college. Why don't we encourage our students who are doing professional work to dress professionally. And now we're working to emphasize that for these students who are working in the trade industry. Why shouldn't they dress for success? Like the 49ers of old, I decided to pan my river of resources, and I came up with that nugget again, Carrie Hill. So I sent her an, uh, an email describing the plight of our students, and immediately she set the task to it. She came up not just with the request that I had of just some shoes, for these students to have, but she came back with what she called the head-to-toe package. 
She had talked to some of her colleagues at Wolverine Brand and at Wolverine Wide, uh, Worldwide Foundation, and they came back with hats to keep their heads warm, gloves to keep them, their fingers warm and they could continue to work vigorously, jackets to keep their bodies warm, socks to keep their feet warm, and shoes to make sure that they were safe in what they were doing. This truly is a package of which we can all be proud because it gives our students that sense of accomplishment and that sense of uh, professionalism. So we want to thank Wolverine Worldwide, uh, Wolverine Brand. Uh, our students are no longer focused on finding a place in the house that's just a little warmer to get their fingers warm, to get their feet warm, but they're actually focusing on what they're supposed to be doing and learning the trade. There's also an unseen and sometimes unspoken benefit to these simple acts. These kids now care because they know that someone else cares. The, they feel valued, they feel validated, and they have a respect for themselves and what they're trying to accomplish. So thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Wolverine Brand, as well as thank you to Wolverine Worldwide for believing in the students, believing in our program, and joining the mission of ADC in providing quality experiential learning opportunities. We strive to make each day better for the students of GRPS, and today, Wolverine Brand has helped us fulfill that task. Now to provide a few words on behalf of Wolverine Brand, I'd like to introduce Ms. Carrie Hill. Well, you guys look really, really good. So I'm really happy to be part of this. This is not something I do every day in my job, is coordinating, you know, charitable donation kind of events. So this is really cool. And, you know, to, to kind of work also with kids that are using a creative outlet is definitely, you know, something I understand they have creative expression when they come here to get them out of the classroom and be able to do a job like this is outstanding it's an it's a great program because I know what it's like to just draw all day on paper but then to actually see something come out of it is a whole different thing so um, when Gideon came to me I thought this program was a just outstanding thing for kids to be involved in so um, when he, uh, you know, told me what they needed, you know, it was really right around the holidays. So I knew time was kind of of the essence because everyone's getting off, getting ready for vacations. So we put the request out there and my team, you know, thanks to my marketing team, they just jumped right in. We got everything coordinated. It's pretty much went, you know, really smooth sailing. And these kids have, you know, embroidered jackets now with the program on the back. So. I think that, you know, it's just a win-win. And, you know, to speak to Wolverine brand, it's Wolverine Worldwide has 16 brands in the portfolio, but the Wolverine brand is a work boot um, company. So we we felt that that was the brand that made the most sense. It just happened that I'm the desi I'm a designer for that brand, but it it just it had a great marriage to it. So, you know, this is this is something that we, we don't we don't take lightly. We we think that being involved with the community, um, you know, is it brings harmony to things when you have you know different programs working together. I think that that's, you know, a really outstanding, you know, opportunity for Wolverine. So I'm very helpful or very thankful to be able to help out. Okay. I'd like to take. Uh an opportunity to introduce one of our students, Dustin Sahomsky, who is a senior uh, with the ADC. He has been in the ADC for four years. This is his first year at Innovation Central since we moved the program. Uh, he's been thriving, and uh, he'd like to say a few words. Uh, don't know how to follow that, but <laughs> um, I just like to think about the generous donation that Wolverine gave us. It really does help us learn when we, instead of coming inside, run into the basement, we can actually work on our houses and stuff and uh, keeps us nice and warm and waterproof and good. And <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I just really appreciate it and so does everybody else. And thank you guys a lot and the whole team and everything. We look forward to, uh, to having more opportunities to uh, share some of the work that our partners are doing for ADC as well as the other Centers of Innovation, uh, the Center for the Academy for Health Sciences and Technology, 
the Academy for Business Leadership and Entrepreneurship, and the Academy for Modern Engineering. It is a conglomeration of all of the partners in the community coming together to help innovation thrive the way it is. So we really appreciate Wolverine Brand for what they've done for ADC. We look forward to uh, this house being done and uh, having another opportunity to gather here and turn the keys over to a family in need that will appreciate it as much as we appreciate having our students work on it. Thank you all very much.